my uh, day, the day hasn't really been all that fulfilling, I guess. Uh, I've been selling shit on eBay like I had been doing. Uh, it's it's funny, I'll be selling like plates, you know, like dinnerware sets and candles. And then I have like a whole nother section where it's just like uh, juggalo shit and, uh, <laughs> and like circuit breakers or something. So it's just, there's a wide range of shit. Oh, a bunch of video games too, but you know, whatever. That's just what I sell. Uh, yeah, I, I remember... Uh, I had gotten a uh, message from a, I don't even know if it was a buyer, but I had a listing for some CDs. This guy, this guy sold me like a whole lot of a hundred uh, CDs, right? A bunch of different shit, punk music, rock music, metal, rap, movie soundtracks, but he sold it to me for really cheap, like a 50 cents a CD. And uh, so I was there trying to lot, lot them up in the different uh, categories and sell them and I had a, a se little lot of uh, metal CDs like I don't know Ramstein and uh, Metallica or you know Rage Against the Machine something like that and then I had another lot of rap CDs with like Nelly and Eve and uh, Busta Rhymes yeah and I remember getting a message from someone on the lot of rap CDs and they were like, how dare you put this music with all the other greats that are me metal in your in your store? And I was like, how do I, how do I answer this? I just didn't answer him. You know, it was like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Are you not, you're just coming to my store to complain? Like my eBay store, which is essentially my store to just complain about what I'm selling next to something else. It's ridiculous. And then uh, I had an autographed copy of Jeanette McCurdy's uh, book that she just put out. Uh, I'm glad my mother died. Or I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. And if you haven't gotten it, it's it's a very good book. I, I've already bought it a few times as gifts for friends. And I even got the audio book. And I'm listening to the audio book right now. And she actually reads it, so it's real good. But I had bought an autograph copy of her book and then put it on there to resell because I had uh, originally bought it for myself but when I saw I had bought it for like 35 bucks and when I saw they were selling for about 100 or 150 I was like oh shit I'm just going to resell this uh, and I could buy a regular copy later for myself I don't care and uh, I had put it up and <laughs> someone messaged me how, how <laughs> again how dare you he, he, you're trying to uh, profit off of her book. You're just like her mother. And I'm like, well, how do I answer this? Like, if you're not buying anything, why even? I, do, then there are other people selling the same book, autographed and regular. Like, are you messaging every single person to uh, to complain like this? Like, is this what you do with your time? I, Jesus Christ, man. Uh but I don't, I don't remember if I even uh, responded. I was just like, whatever. And I ended up selling it, you know, for 100 bucks or something. So it, uh, I made some money. And then I bought more copies and gave them away or kept them or bought the audiobook. Like, I I don't know. I don't see it that big a deal. That, you know, what, and then to just go and complain like that, it's ridiculous, you know. Oh, and thinking of that, uh, years ago when I was in college years ago and I remember eBay was kind of in its infancy at least to me and I had bought <laughs> for my buddy I had I was gonna buy him uh the 50 cent I think get rich or die trying the 50 cent cd and I found it on eBay for like three dollars and fifty cents free shipping or something right R real cheap as a used copy and so i i get it in and it was censored instead of it being uncensored like it was on the on the description so <laughs> i i immediately 
left bad feedback and said, oh, this this guy was lying. And that was just me being young, wanting to be a piece of shit, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to leave bad feedback. Fuck this dude. And somehow this guy got the, the seller who sold me that 50 cent CD was able to get my phone number and my email, my personal email. And he was messaging me like, uh, if you don't take down this five star, uh, or I'm sorry, this five star, if you don't leave me five stars and take down that negative feedback, I'm gonna, he, uh, I don't remember what he sees. Like, I'm going to find where you live, like ba- threatening me over this 50 cent CD that was like $3 and he was calling my phone leaving me threats too uh like like take that down right now take down that negative feedback and and again i was a young kid so i was like fuck you i don't care like like as an older adult i'm like how the fuck did he get a hold of my information but as a young kid i'm like fuck you i don't care like whatever and and then i get an email and again it's like how the fuck are these people getting my info but I get an email from a, another person that I guess has bought from him, and they were like, "Hey, is this is this seller threatening you? We're all gonna uh, send a, a, a information to eBay and get him like permanently banned or charges pressed or something." And I, <laughs> I was like, "Okay, you know, whatever, sure." But then after that, the seller uh, messaged me about the 50 cent city like hey if i just refund you can you just put neutral and we won't talk about this again and i'm like yeah that's cool so <laughs> we just squashed the beef right there you know and i was like god damn all this over fucking 50 cent cd but i don't know it, it's people were pretty fucking ridiculous uh <laughs> i was thinking about uh jeanette mccurdy too she actually follows me on Twitter, and I don't even know why. Like, I might have one day told her, hey, follow me, and she fucking followed me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why Why does she follow me, you know? I'd love to, like, just talk to her or tell her how great she is for my Carly or uh, that that one role I saw her in in fucking uh, Law & Order as, like, a crying girl, crying little girl. But, yeah, she follows me. I believe Ashley Argato or Arigato follows me, and she was uh, the Filipino girl in True Jackson VP, if you remember her, I, I don't know, uh, I, uh, Paola follows me from 90 Day Fiance, and I really, dude, that, that season with uh, Paola, and with fucking uh, Big Ed, oh man, that that's such a great 90 Day Fiance season, like if, if you're gonna watch any of them, watch that one, and it'll get you into the show, 90 Day Fiance is, is fucking great. And then speaking of, uh, like, those TLC shows, uh, My Feet Are Killing Me, that Dr. Ebony Vincent follows me, and, gosh, she is, she is gorgeous. She is a goddess. Like, I'm, I'm not very much into, uh, you know, black women because of, I guess, my parents probably putting it on me like it'd be a sin to not get with a Latina woman, but she is, she is a goddess. Like, if, if you can find Dr. Ebony Vincent on Instagram or on her show or on Twitter, like, God, dude, she is like Aphrodite. I, <laughs> like, straight up, just beautiful. I remember, uh, too, when, when, uh, uh, years ago with Twitter, I had tweeted at, uh, you know, Sean Paul, the one who sings, uh, it's a dirty, dirty love, I'm still in love. Little belly, little belly, little belly, it's a dirty, dirty love. Like, he has that weird uh, Caribbean accent, or the way he sings. I had uh, tweeted at him, like, hey, are you okay? Do you have, like, a speech impediment with your <laughs> with your music? And he ended up following me. And I was like, oh, shit, Sean Paul follows me. And then after a while, I was like, oh, my God, Sean Paul follows me. I'm kind of scared. Like, is he going to try to get my info and and like come beat me up at my house or something because Sean Paul looks kind of like you know like he could beat me up Uh, I'm not gonna say I could take him on even on a good day but I think eventually he unfollowed me (laughs) or something but I was pretty scared for a little while when I was like oh shit why is Sean Paul following me and then I remember one time uh T-Pain 
I had tweeted at him if he was a, a actual robot and that he should come clean, like if he's a robot because of all the auto tune music he was doing. And uh, he retweeted it, and all these people started like tweeting at me, like, "How dare you call T Pain a robot? Don't you ever offend him?" <laughs> and I'm like, "What? How is that? How is that offensive?" Like, I was just saying he's he's probably a robot. <laughs> Ooh, with all his, uh, you know, auto tuning and shit. That's that's all I was saying, man. Don't get so fucking bad about it. But yeah. Oh, ooh. Uh, speaking of those TLC shows too, dude. If you're into like Night Day Fiance, My Feet Are Killing Me, where they show people's fucked up feet, and then the pimple popper lady. That shit's pretty good too. But I like the the like mud show underground type pimple popping where. It shows, like, uh, people in bathrooms with makeshift scalpels and razor blades and shit just cutting open that shit and just squirting all over everywhere. Man, I love that shit. Earwax removal, too, is pretty badass. When there's just a lot of gunk that's just been in there for <laughs> for maybe years. Just gunk. And it's like, dude, how do you live like that? With those big-ass pimples or fucked-up feet or all that earwax, you know? And uh, even my strange addictions, good with those. I don't know. People are just sick. Like, it, and it tries to, I guess, like normalize it, you know. Or in some way, they they think it's normal. But some of those are like sick, you know. Or they, I don't know, fucking, they're eating rocks or they're uh, sexually attracted to balloons or cars. I think there was one where a chick was drinking gasoline, and. Man, I don't know how you... Yeah, like a young girl was just taking shots of gasoline like like it was a mouthwash or something. And like, dang. I do love the smell of gasoline, though. I I remember as a kid, I would always, um, at the gas station, like, uh, get real close and smell. And I think one, one time my father caught me and he was all, hey, mio, don't smell that. It, it'll mess with you and mess up your head. So I, I just kept my distance after that, but... How can you not like the smell of gasoline? Like, I don't know why they haven't made that into... Even if it was like a parody cologne. Like some sort of cologne or scent. Because gasoline smells so fucking good. And it's like a unique smell too, you know? But I guess... <laughs> I could see how it would confuse people if... Everyone just started smelling like gasoline. You would think, oh man, like... There's some fuel around here. They might be flammable. But I could, I could do with a... I would wear a gasoline cologne by like Paris Hilton or something that'd be badass Paris Hilton for men you know not not for men to smell and enjoy but for men to wear and for women to enjoy that's that's what it means for men but for women whatever anyway yeah uh I hope you enjoyed uh this episode of that's all funny I, uh, that's that's what the show is called it's called that's all funny because you you'd say lol that's all funny <laughs> and uh yeah let's start like a campaign for a, a cologne that smells like gasoline that'd be fucking badass you could have a metallica add the music to it and all that but yeah uh, take care and yeah pizza's on me <laughs>